Wasn't there something about Cardi today? Like Cardi predicted the future of how whole lot of red was gonna be influential. So he's basically turning into like a Kanye where he's just got this. Well, he, he did claim that he's a narcissist or at least that's what he was naming his project. So it makes sense. But let's see, Kirko posted it on Twitter, I believe. Where you at, buddy? Playboy Cardi on a whole lot of red after its release early. Ah, uh, well, okay. So the album dropped 2020, December. So early 2021, this is when still people were hating on it. So it's crazy that he was still confident in himself, although he did slip up a little bit by not being confident when people were asking for the deluxe like the week later because people were hating on it. And then he's like, okay, maybe we'll drop a deluxe. What songs do y'all want on it? But good thing for the, he, he actually stood on some business. But anyway, this sound is something that's going to be regular and relevant in the future. That's just part of creating something new. If this is something that people can't accept right away, how different is it? Damn. He's fucking Kanye, bro. He's turning into Kanye. Like to have that much confidence or even you, you low key to be a, a legendary artist, you need to be like a delusionally confident and be like, I'm dropping this. People might not like it right now, but y'all will learn. But the thing is, at the same time, I think people started liking it. Like, imagine another artist dropped a whole lot of red. They have different aesthetic, different brand, different mystery. Like, like say like it's a regular artist that pops out all the time. Like, uh, let's say like JID, that's not even a good example. Um, I'm trying to figure out another artist that's kind of regular like Jaleel or something. Let's say Jaleel dropped this project, Whole Lot of Red, with the exact same music, exact same everything, except for he's still Jaleel, he's not Cardi, he's not super rare. Would it have the same impact? Because I think that a lot of Cardi's music is influential simply because he is influential. And it's not because of the music. It is still because of the music, do you get what I'm saying at all? Like, just the fact, like he could, he could drop fucking country music next album and then everybody's gonna start dick riding that. Just because he is Cardi and he has a certain aura to him, as gay as that sounds. But it's just facts, it is facts. He did die lit. Everybody started doing Pierre uh, Spacey type beats. That's when like the whole YouTube type beat mafia came to, came to life. Okay, he started doing a whole lot of red. Everybody starts hopping on a similar beast to that shit. Although Trippy and Sofago and other people in Yeed, they had a they had a participation trophy in that as well. But yeah, it's not just the music, and then it's, it's the it's the aesthetic and everything. It's the it's the whole brand. I'm trying to figure out somebody else. Like, say say at this point in time, Drake were to drop a vamp album and whole lot of red never existed. Would then everybody start making in the underground or just in, in the music industry, would they start making vamp music? I don't think so. Cause I think Drake makes hits, but I don't know if he's as influential in the sense that people are trying to copy his type of music. Granted, I don't know if people could copy Drake's level of hits, but I feel like what Drake does instead of creating the wave, and by the way, I'm a huge Drake fan, so this is no hate, but he kind of pulls influences from different, like we here, we already saw what happened with X. He kind of stole the look at me flow, or he rapped on some rage beats. He did one with Yeet kinda, and then he did one that was definitely a rage beat with Lil Yachty. He rapped on a plug beat, which is definitely not something that he started with. So it's just interesting to see. So again, if Drake dropped the vamp album, I doubt anybody would be rapping on a whole lot, like the same type of music as whole lot of red if that was him that dropped it. Cardi got enthusiastics, enthusiasts, is that what you mean? Like Kanye, people always wants to understand what he's trying to do. Yeah, I think it's more of a game. 
and that's why it's more fun to be a cardi fan because other other artists when they drop their release dates or whatever you know what's coming so it's like it's like you're you're dating a girl right or not even dating like you're about a you're, you're trying to hit up a girl as soon as you smash you're like like as soon as you know you fucked or whatever it's like oh, I, don't, I don't want any part of it anymore because like i already did it i already own i already own her however if the girl keeps leading you on over text like yeah let's meet up here and this is like in relation to release dates like i'm i'm gonna release the album in like two weeks or whatever and so you're you get all hyped up for that and this is like oh wait like i gotta go with my family to dinner i'm sorry we can go to the movies next friday similar shit to a whole lot of red release dates then every, you just you keep getting you keep edging bro and then finally when it does release you're like oh when's the next time this is fun it's all in the game literally y'all are edging right now including myself although i don't know i i just i've just given up on like anything with cardi i mean we already went over last night with the 2024 predictions that or not even predictions that reportedly in ken carson's interview where it was not set in stone like nobody said that they just took it from the rumors that he was dropping in 2024 probably from i i don't even know maybe one of the mercedes-benz stadium in germany or, or wherever it was italy france where they said that upcoming his album and then they took the quote out from the email of the tickets sold you get you remember what i'm saying like the people who bought tickets they got notified of his upcoming album but then they took that out of the thread so is 21 overhyped for sure for sure he be rapping the same fucking beats every single song and then was like oh he said he he whipped him with a pistol oh that was the hardest line ever it's not like he didn't just say that in the last song like 14 different ways every single bar like dude i feel like just the the bar has lowered for rappers lately. I don't know, nobody's, I'm not saying nobody, but there are less rappers that are pushing the boundaries to do something different as opposed to, I think everyone's just scared. Everyone's scared to try new things because if they do, then it could be a hindrance on their career. And that like, if they do like some rock shit, they don't even need to, they don't even venture out of uh like hip-hop it's just stop doing the same trap beats and the same flows i don't know do something different hop on a rage beat if you need to or or something new like get new producers honestly it starts with the producers that's why cardi gets new producers every single album so that he it inspires him to do different flows and different sounds because if you're always working with the same producer they're always gonna kind of do the same sound because it's like what's in their head but if you you know it's like if if you i'm trying to think it's like if you get a, a personal chef who's from france they're gonna be cooking up some snails maybe some well just for sure some french cuisine i don't know if they do pasta over there they're gonna make you some croissant but then oh wait you get a new producer aka an italian chef they start making you some pasta, some pizza, some ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuoli. Or then you get a Chinese chef, they start, or a Japanese one, sorry, fuck China. A Japanese chef, so they can whip you up some, some sushi. The producers are the chefs in the studio. So if you go from different countries chefs, then you get different food. You know what I mean? So the same thing with rappers. You go, different producers are gonna give you different genres of beats. And that's why now on that Cardi leak with Wicked Killers, it was Cardo Guy Wangs, I think. Um, and that's why it sounded completely different. It was like more of a trap, futuresque type beat. Whereas before he was working with Filthy on some more metal rock type beats, which I feel like is a little played out because Filthy kind of ran its course. Not not saying that it's bad, but like everyone was on Filthy beats, especially in the underground too. Everybody was copying that. So now he's got to go back to the drawing board and figure out some sauce that 
Now everybody's gonna copy you again. Same thing with Benny X. Why do you think Drake added Yeet onto his album in Sexy Red? Cause they're popping, bro. It's like, as I said before, Yeet, I mean, sorry, Drake likes to pull influences from, that's why he's still relevant because he brings out the newer sounds and puts it on his platform by kind of doing it or bringing on the artist with this new sound, which Yeet is kind of representative of the newest underground generation. And so he always stays with the current sound because he brings out Sexy Red, who just popped off and she's like the hottest female artist right now. Yeet, hottest or yeah, hottest new gen rapper. Uh, that's why he works with Cardi. That's why uh, I'm trying to figure out Yachty. But him and Yachty are just boys. But SZA, SZA just fire in general. I'm trying to figure out who else he put on the album. He put on Adonis. Adonis is a, the hottest uh, five-year-old rapper in the game. Ken getting hot. Well, again, that's why Drake gave Ken the co-sign. He's like, okay, Ken doing some numbers. Ken dropped a hot tape. So he's going to do that. Yeah, Donis's net worth is greater than all of ours combined, to be honest. Drake's a billionaire. <laughs> and and actually, I'm pretty sure Adonis got royalties on whatever song he was on. Like, that's the point. So, he's going to be getting them royalties from Drake's catalog. Plus, he is in the will, I would assume. So, I, I could actually see him be a rapper later on in his life i'm not saying he's good he's still like super young and a, just a child so you can't really tell if he's even good yet but he's drake's son so i feel like he could just make him a pop and rapper adonis also got paid from the cover art true true don't talk to my man <laughs> like that I like it how you like it yeah that shit was low-key garbage but again I don't even know how old he is 